Hi everyone, this is Meenakshi Ramesh and today is day 13 in the 21 day tapping video series in November. Today once again, once again, I'm called to read from the book 365 Days to Embracing Forbidden Emotions by A Daily Guide to Peace and Fulfillment by, Ma by Marty Murphy and Bailey Samples. I just opened the book today. I had another topic in mind and I just decided, okay, I'm going to read and um, I'm going to walk walk you all through some what if tapping statements. All right. So for number 13, success happens after you have survived all of your disappointments unknown. There is a lot of truth to this statement. As I grow weary of the endless cycle of trying to make things happen, I finally stop. I surrender without even knowing it. I'm thinking there's got to be more to life than this endless pursuit of desires and goals. I might have pursued many goals where some came into being and others didn't. Maybe I realize that I'm living other people's ideas of what my life should look like. Anyway, I look at it. It's not been working well for me. I am tired of trying so hard with little to no return on what I have been investing my life in. In this way, it's all the disappointments I have experienced that have led me to this place right now where I want to find a better way. A way that's online with my soul, the soulful part of me I may have lost touch with a long time ago. What if these disappointments happened so I could be led back on this place I am now, where my authentic self is calling me back home to myself? Thought for the day, what if all of my disappointments were leading me back to this moment where I can rekindle this connection to the truest part of me. And the truest part of all of us is just love, nothing but love. So let's tap. Even though success happens after I have survived all of my disappointments, I choose to acknowledge all the disappointments that I've gone through in my life so far. And I'm open to shifting this energy right now. Even though success is a term that is so broad and most of the times it does not even land for me. It doesn't resonate with me. I choose to acknowledge that this is just the part of me that is wanting more or that is wanting better. And by sending love, kindness and compassion to this part of me, I will be able to make a note of the little successes and the big successes that I have experienced in my life so far. So go to the eyebrow. I'm just going to reframe um, these statements from the book. What if, as I grow, weary of the endless cycle of trying to make that, to make things happen, I finally stop. What if I can surrender without even knowing it? What if by thinking there's got to be more to life than this endless pursuit of desires and goals? 
I am able to create space for something better and more inspiring. And what if by acknowledging the pursuit, the many goals that I pursued, where some came into being and others didn't, I can find peace with wherever I am today. What if by realizing that I am living other people's ideas of what my life should look like, I begin to create a life that is totally in alignment with how I want to live. What if by acknowledging what has not been working well for me, I can begin to create opportunities so that things work out for my highest good. And what if by accepting that I am tired of trying so hard with little to no return on what I have been investing my life in, I can begin to claim more inner peace and fulfillment. And what if it's all the disappointments I have experienced that have led me to the place right now where I want to find a better way? And what if I can find a way that is in line with my soul? What if by embracing the soulful part of me, I may have lost touch with a long time ago. I begin to enjoy each and every moment and admire its beauty and peace. What if these disappointments happened so I could be led back to this place I am now where my authentic self is calling me back home to myself. I want to repeat this. What if my authentic self is calling me back home to myself? What if all of my disappointments were leading me back to this moment where I can rekindle this connection to the, to, to, to the truest part of me? What if all of my disappointments were leading me back to this moment where I can rekindle this connection to the, to, to the truest part of me, which is love. And what if all of my disappointments were leading me back to this moment where I can rekindle this connection with spirit and the universe? Stop tapping, take a breath. So this is these what if free frames are totally new for me. I'm I'm still learning. So if I get stuck and in between, if some if some statements um, did not make sense, please feel free to change them, uh, change the language that that is that feels appropriate for you. Um, so that's all in today's video. 
I will see you all again tomorrow with another video. Take good care. Bye.